Hi, I'm Teresa Elling. Welcome to The Peaceful Home. I am a wife, mom of six, professional organizer, and parenting coach, and I love bringing to you content about all things having to do with home and family. Today, we're going to look at the guest house on our property. My daughter and her husband have been renting from us since they first got married a few years ago and they have done such a great job in turning this place into a home that is comfortable for them. And best of all, Joanna has furnished her home almost entirely with secondhand finds. Now it used to be years ago that the perception of thrifting or yard sales was for people that absolutely couldn't afford anything else but that stigma really has been removed. And now we know secondhand is not only good for the environment, it is one of the best and cheapest ways to find vintage and antique items for your home, unique things that not everyone has, so your home doesn't look so cookie cutter. I love thrift store shopping and my kids do too. And so it's exciting to see them be able to save money and have a hobby they enjoy. I'm excited about some of the episodes coming up. I'm going to do some basic sewing projects and also I'm going to begin a series on child training. And this might be unlike anything that you've ever seen in regards to parenting and training, but I think it will be practical and really easy to apply. And in this day and age, especially with schools not opening in the fall, Parents are really struggling, and so I hope this will be timely. So watch for those things. If this is content that you enjoy, please hit the subscribe button and also the notification bell. That way you'll be notified each time we upload a new video. So let's head over to the guest house and we'll let Joanna take us on a tour. Hi, I'm Joanna Magonia and Teresa Elling of The Peaceful Home is my mother. And we live in the guest house on their property. And I'm gonna show you today about our small space that we live in, talk a little bit about why we've chosen to do tiny living and talk about some of my favorite thrifted finds throughout my home. So starting off, we have this basket wall. This is our entryway slash pantry slash kitchen because everything's multi-purpose when you're living tiny. And I love these because I was able to find them throughout different times at different stores and add to the wall and move them around. And we have really high ceilings here. And so I wanted something that would draw your eye up um, away from some of the less attractive um, features that we have. My husband and I love to buy in bulk. So we have bulk bins and bulk beans and all of our stuff and it doesn't look beautiful all of the time, but when you add something that it draws your eye away from that, it can really help in a small space to make it feel more homey and less industrial with all of the big bins. This is our kitchen, which is small, but I am an avid chef, baker, canner, everything you can think of. And so I need a really functional kitchen. And so we did our kitchen at Ikea and we were able to customize it. And that was absolutely perfect for us. And one of the things I really wanted was open shelves because I really like the look of glass. And almost all of this was thrifted. It started out this set up here uh, as a wedding present. And then I found the exact same set later at a Goodwill uh, because they get all of the Target discount items, returns. So there was only one jar missing from this set. And so I bought it a second time. And so there's some over there and some here. And I just love the way that it looks because I always am baking, cooking. I can see what I need, how much I have of something. It's right there. And it makes this small kitchen feel a lot bigger with the walls expanding rather than um, going for the storage with conventional cabinets. Because we have lots of storage underneath here, which I love. As we have such high ceilings, we have this really big cabinet up here and it has all of our seasonal cooking stuff, the stuff that I don't use every day. Because if you're using something every day, you don't want to be on a step stool having to reach for it. And so we have all of our seasonal canning equipment, our dehydrator and my cookbooks. 
And then all of the stuff that I need for regular cooking is right here within arm's reach. One of the things to think about when you're living in a small space is how can I make this space feel like home? How can I make it comfortable, functional, all those different things. And so this is a tray that I thrifted and I love that we can put all of our little um, cooking things right here. They're easily accessible for every time that I'm cooking and it doesn't feel like it's cluttered because when you have a small space but you have lots of stuff, it feels cluttered. And I feel like time and time again, I'm looking for ways to simplify what's on my counter. And it's so easy because it's right here in this small space, it all fits there and it just collects it all in one really nice organized spot rather than having it feel cluttered and disorganized and just strewn throughout. So my husband is a citrus farmer and we make a ton of ice cream and orange juice and lemonade. And so I have my ice cream maker and our juicer stored on top of our fridge, which the fridge can be such a great space to store things, but it can also get really cluttered. So we have a really big basket that has, again, some of our bulk food in it. And then we have a few pieces that are more for show. We have a beautiful plant. We have two different crocs that I've thrifted full of wooden utensils that I've thrifted that I absolutely love. I cook all the time and so making sure my kitchen is full of cute things that I love and that are multi-purpose is just something I'm really passionate about. So I love this little space up here. It's white, it's clean, and then we actually have a painting that in our future home will probably be on some sort of feature wall, but for right now, again, it helps add height to the room because when you have such high ceilings, you really need things that draw your attention up. And so that's what I have on top of our fridge. So my husband and I have lived here for two and a half years. And in that time, we had our first son, Nehemiah, who is now 14 months old. And in September, we are expecting our second baby. And so we've had to make room for different things. And one of those is a high chair. I'm sure you'll see some things uh, also throughout the house that are full of baby stuff. Um, because it has to work. And so there are certain things that you have to get rid of in order to make room for stuff for the baby. And we've done that through simplifying um, and getting bigger pieces of furniture. I thrifted this hutch and I absolutely love it. I have not had the time though, as a stay at home mom, to completely restore it. I have future dreams and future plans of making this hutch, you know, perfect, all, all new shiny knobs, sanded and, just absolutely beautiful, but for right now, it has a lot of character. It adds kind of a vintage feel to our more modern home, and it's just full of all of our tea, all of our stuff for kombucha making, uh, different mugs, and it fills a lot of space, and it's a bigger piece, but it allows for a lot of storage. I even have our camping gear stored down here, because no one will ever know that I store camping gear in my kitchen. <laughs> Is the play area that we have for our son and it's right next to the kitchen so that I can keep an eye on him because even in a small home babies go crazy. <laughs> um, all of these pieces except for the play kitchen were thrifted and uh, it's really easy to get a thrifted piece and just add some paint to it. I think it cost me four dollars to completely redo this little cabinet and it's now one of my favorite pieces in the house and one of my favorite things that I've been able to thrift is wooden vintage toys. This was $3 at a local thrift store. It has so much character. My mom helped me sand it to get out all of the little bumps and pieces. And now it's like new, except it has the character of something that's old and has been loved. And so when you're starting out as a, a new newlywed couple, when you're starting out as new parents, thrifting is one of the best ways that you can save money and add character to your home. So we have two sliding barn doors. One goes to Nehemiah's room and the other goes to our restroom. And we really liked that because it saved on our storage space. And it's really easy to come right in here to the room. And it's a small space, but we've really made it work and Nehemiah absolutely loves it. And so we have these that we built and it has all of his books and toys. We have cloth diapers and our dresser that we thrifted. And we actually thrifted it and it's a part of the set that our crib was a part of which is pretty crazy 
but that ended up being a nice piece of luck. And we really enjoy this space. We've made it functional. And he doesn't spend too much time in here, pretty much just napping and sleeping. But it's pretty cute and we're really happy. We even were able to thrift some really sweet stuffed animals for him. Um, they were actually brand new from Target. And so those are a few of the little things that I just love about his nursery that make it really special. So this is our bathroom and our laundry room combined. We have a stackable unit and we have even more storage on top for extra toilet paper, extra towels, all that kind of stuff. And your bathroom really doesn't have to be that big. You don't spend a whole lot of time in here, but we really like it. It's very functional, simple, and we kept it with really neutral colors. So it feels light and bright when you walk in. If we would have chosen darker colors, it really would have felt dark and moody and small and crowded. But by going with lighter colors like this light baby blue and a lot of the white, it just makes it feel light and airy and not so cluttered. So our apartment here at Riverfront Ranch is like a studio. So it has a really open design. And one of the ways that we wanted to create more of an entertaining space for when we have friends over was by having a little living room. And so the way that we did that was by getting a big rug that our son could play on. We have our entertainment unit. We are avid collectors of DVDs because the Wi-Fi is not great out here in the country. So Netflix is a 50-50 shot. We've probably thrifted about 75% of our movies and we're just storing up on the classics for our kids. So that's really fun for us. We have baskets full of toys for Nehemiah to grab and a footrest and different board games. And it all just comes together in a really nice space. It's really open so that we have a lot of room to move around. We don't want the space to feel cluttered and yet there's a lot stored here and we get to spend a lot of time as a family in this space. So a few of my favorite thrifted finds are this nightstand and this dresser. So they're both solid wood, which is just such an investment. And so we actually were able to get this piece for $75, which is insane. Uh, it's one of our favorite pieces in our house and stores most of our clothing. Uh, in the living space, the rug was thrifted. My mother has a shampoo carpet machine, so we were able to get it nice and clean. And then we also thrifted our leather couch, our laundry basket. We pretty much thrift everything. I even thrifted this blanket because it's fun. It's a hobby of mine. I know not everybody enjoys hunting for something, but I really do, especially when I have something specific to look for. And it's a way to save money. The reason that my husband and I decided to live here, decided to live tiny, is because we wanted to pay off all of our debt within the first year of being married, have kids early, and start saving up to buy our own farms. Living in a tiny apartment uh, so that you can save more money may feel like a sacrifice, but to us, we really want to invest in our long-term future. We want to invest in our children's childhoods to make memories. and we don't feel like we're actually sacrificing very much because the space is functional and it feels like home. Oh, nice snack.